Hi and welcome to this video. Uh, firstly going to look at how we uh, enable IIS, Internet Information Services, uh, on Windows 8. Really quite straightforward. Uh, at, at default it's uh, disabled. So if you go into the Start menu and type in IIS, you'll see down the right hand side there is no IIS services enabled, or there are no IIS services enabled on this laptop at the moment. So, quite simply, if you go into um, your computer and open the control panel, uh, you want to look in the programs side of things, click on Uninstall Program, and you get all your programs here. What you want to do is go to Turn Windows Features On or Off and click on that option. This will show you which features have been enabled on your system and we can see here Internet Information Services are not enabled by default. If we tick that on, if we expand that we'll see that not all IIS services are automatically enabled. So what we're going to need to do is expand all of these just for ease of use and click them all on and this will quite simply uh, enable all of our IIS services for all types of possible uh, websites, web applications that we might want to publish using IIS. Unfortunately it's a bit of a long laborious tick box exercise. But once we've done them all we'll see this major one goes to a tick. Click OK and the computer will now enable all of those services for us. Just wait for this to run. Close that down. This will take a few minutes. And there we can see uh, that Windows made changes and we can close that down. Now, when we go back to the Start menu and type in IIS you'll see on the right hand side Infinite Internet Information Services Manager is now available for us and we have enabled the IIS services on this computer. Uh, I hope that helps as just a little video on how to use